takes a lot of lab work to prepare my equipment for field data collection in the ocean. I'm testing my infrared light system under a controlled environment to ensure that it will work underwater. My image processor combines multiple pictures of emanated samples under different wavelengths and creates a single color map which highlights areas that contain plastics. Now, after six weeks of testing in a synthesized ocean environment, I'm going to take these emulated microplastics out and observe them under a microscope. I'm using this visible light microscope to see the differences in the edges between the eroded versus the freshly cut microplastics. I'm using the same microscope, but this time with a fluorescence attachment in order to look at particles that have been treated with a lipophilic Nile red dye. I'm using this digital microscope in order to take pictures. here in the pictures I took using the fluorescent system that the edges absorb more of the dye, demonstrating that as plastics become smaller and break apart, their increased surface area becomes more reactive and combine more readily. I put down some of the final touches on my accelerometer and navigation system, and as you can see, my system is able to glide in a straight path along the ocean floor and is just about ready to take to the ocean.